We've got uh, another Buckeye in the fold for the 2023 class. It should be a familiar name to Ohio State fans. Will Smith Jr., and we're not connecting him to any movie fame here. Kevin, what can you tell us about uh, Will Smith? I've been sold a bad bill of goods. I Now, I knew that he wasn't connected to uh, Will Smith, uh, the actor. He's connected to Will Smith, the all-time, you know, one of the all-time Ohio State great defensive linemen, had a very productive career with uh, New Orleans Saints before he was tragically killed in a traffic altercation. Um, but Will Smith Jr. plays at Dublin Kaufman High School here in Central Ohio, class 23. 6'3", 260, a guy that I think that probably projects to play inside, probably like a three-tech type of guy, uh, whereas Daddy was more of that, uh, what we like to call the end, you know, he or a right on edge. Uh, you know, I think that we see Will Will Jr. moving inside a little bit more. Uh, you know, it, he has some time. He has a couple more years to really kind of develop out, kind of a mid three star in terms of the recruiting services the ones that i've looked at at this point i think that he could probably get himself into the four star range you know just a great story i mean and you know we've seen ohio state legacies go elsewhere antoine winfield jr being one of them and fans losing their minds over that well you bring in the new defensive staff even though you know you have to figure larry johnson was very involved in this one but jim knowles and everybody else you know, they get in, they they offer Will Smith Jr., and I think we all kind of said it's just a matter of time, and that time only took a couple of days. Uh, he was on campus last weekend for an unofficial, and shortly thereafter, uh, pops for Ohio State. So I think it's a really big pickup for him, and it gives them, of their four, four members of the class of 23, two are in-state, two are out-of-state. Yeah, I'm old enough to remember uh, when it was John Cooper and Fred Pugach, the assistant coach, the defensive coordinator, went up to Utica, New York in class of 2000 and uh, brought back uh, Will Smith. He was a national top 100 player and uh, obviously stayed with Ohio State through the coaching change on to uh, Jim Trestle, was an All-American for the Buckeyes. And uh, when they celebrated the national championship in 2002, they brought him, I think, to the to the shot for a basketball game. And uh, Jim Tressel, you know, picked pick Will Smith to be kind of out in front of the group. And the whole crowd was chanting one more year, one more year. And uh, I don't know if that impacted it or not, but he came back and had another outstanding year for the Buckeyes in 2003 and then went on to the, uh, the NFL. But a lot of great memories, man. He made a play. I want to say right before halftime, he may have sacked Dorsey and caused a fumble, and Darian Smith or Darian Scott tried to pick it up and run with it and got tackled about the 10-yard line. That was a critical moment uh, in that uh, Fiesta Bowl win over Miami. I think Will Smith created that fumble. So uh, if he lives up anything close to what his dad did at Ohio State, uh, it would be a tremendous and obviously a, a legacy situation here coming full circle. His dad, as Kevin alluded to, was killed in a road rage incident in New Orleans. Uh, it's been a, a few years ago. I, I don't have the exact year, probably two, three, four years ago. And a uh, very unfortunate situation. But everything I hear uh, is just positive about uh, Will Smith Jr. and uh, how he's a good student. Actually, he attended Wellington, which is a prep school in Upper Arlington in Central Ohio, up through the end of his sophomore year, but was able to play football at Dublin Kaufman because Wellington doesn't have a football team. He was one of four freshmen in the last 20 years when Mark Crabtree was the head coach there that got to play at Kaufman as a freshman. And I, I don't have the other ones, but I, I would assume maybe a Mike Adams was in that list or a... Jake Stoneburner, hard to say, but uh, at any rate, uh, maybe one of those great quarterbacks uh, who, who went through there as well. So uh, at any rate, uh, you look at uh, what he's going to bring to the table, another year of development, as Kevin said, he's going to have a college body when he steps on campus, upwards of 270 to 280 pounds probably. And I think it'll be up if Larry Johnson remains the, the defensive line coach a year from now on then uh, it'll be up to, to him to slot him and figure out, get him started on his college path. But obviously a great story. He's only ranked in the 500s nationally. 
And I'm told not to worry too much about that, that uh, and probably about 15 to 20 in terms of the state of Ohio this year overall for 2023. But uh, again, don't uh, don't get wrapped around the axle about the ranking. I personally do not get wrapped around the axle about the uh, the rankings. So uh, I think it's it's going to be a lot of fun watching him grow and develop and follow in his dad's footsteps in some small way. Yeah, I go back to the Will Smith Sr. recruiting, and I think whether it was Bill Curlick back then or Tom Lemming, where you know that that's really where you get to learn about these future Buckeyes and who they are. And I, I think at one point he was listed as like a linebacker, 6'3", 230 or whatever, and you look at the rest of the linebackers in that Ohio State class, which included Darian Scott, who was listed as a linebacker then, Robert Reynolds, and maybe the most ballyhooed was Marco Cooper, who didn't end up you know, panning out, but then they all go there. They, they find their levels. And it's interesting to me that we talk about Jim Knowles use of the Leo, which is a defensive end that'll stand up and move around and play a little linebacker times. Will Smith used to do that. He would move around and, and stand up behind the, the, uh, the defensive line at times to, to give you an idea of the kind of athlete he was, but yeah, definitely one of the greats. And I, you know, I don't think he was. I don't think he's been overshadowed by the, the Bosa's or the uh, the Chase Young because I think for his generation that's who he was. He was of that ilk, and maybe the the numbers weren't there, but he was a perfect bridge from the Fick, the the Finkus and Vrabel. You got the the Will Smith, and then you've got the, the modern guys, and he was every bit as good as those guys, and just asked to do different things, and was capable of doing different things, and then went on to even more special stuff in the NFL. And so go ahead, see what his kid has. And if he's only as good as Antoine Winfield Jr., well, then you've got an All-American. As Steve alludes to, 540 is his national ranking, number 71 defensive lineman, 14th rated player in the state of Ohio at 6'3", 260. That's according to the composite Hard commit Will Smith to Ohio State, number 93, correct? The Will yes. Smith. Yes, 